Welcome back to C++. I believe you've all, you must have seen the quadratic equation in C++. Okay. In this very tutorial, what I will do next is to actually program what is known as discriminant quadratic equation. So which means I will get rid of the following. Get rid of this. I will only be left with the following variables root 1, root 2, a, b, and c. And those will be my coefficient for my quadratic equation. I will get rid of the following because I don't need the square root anymore. But the square root of the discriminant will be retained this will become root 1 this will become variable root 2 with root 1 delete this square so what will happen is this should give us the discriminant and this should give us the square root of the discriminant in that case I will then change this to discriminant yep discriminant quadratic equation or oh, equations that's fine now I might as well change the title there discriminant quadratic equation in C++ there oh undo there so if I run this very program now or maybe before I run this program let me show you one or two things in Microsoft Word in Microsoft Word this is the quadratic equation itself I will delete that because I don't need that what I actually need is the discriminant equation which is right there so let's delete all of this and right here is the discriminant equation right there is the discriminant equation however supposing our output is greater than zero in that case that means two distinctive real roots but supposing let's copy that paste it right here is equal to zero that means two equal roots and supposing it's less than zero in that case if it's less than zero that means no root at all now let's move on right here I have some equation this is A this is B and that is C so with the equation right here let's say b which is 4 equals 4 multiply by 4 if you are following if you like you can add a bracket minus or negative 4 which is right here multiply by 3 multiply by negative 4 or you can put close that and you can always enter the multiplication sign there if we come down and say 4 multiply by 4 that we should give us 16 minus multiply by minus that become plus 3 multiply by 4 that will give us 12. Let's move up a little bit. Now we come back down. We now say 16 plus 4 multiplied by 12. That will give us 48. And the answer to that will become 64 when you add both together. Okay. 
if we decide to take it one more step 64 and what is the square root of 64 that should be 8 the square root of 64 will be 8 okay we can always draw that out let's look for our drawing tool right there let's insert shape and just draw make that our square root right there okay now we've got our answer we have 64 which means 64 which means the discriminant is greater than zero if the discriminant is greater than zero that gives us two tentative real number and the square root of that is this okay now that that is sorted let's go into the program right now now we're back into C++ I will now compile and run the program or you can always go to execute compile and run there if you remember our numbers right here we are dealing with 3 4 and minus 4 back to our program compile and run it we have 3 4 and minus 4 hit enter and what you get is the discriminant number is 64 and the square root of 64 is 8 I believe you guys enjoy this program and just before I leave I will now show you let me show you take you back to the codes here are the codes right there just move it aside so that you can see it more there So I'm just going to call this today. You all have a nice day now.